1982 Bayliner Trophy that I inherited and I'm working on it. Uh, got the motors going nice. But one of the things that has concerned me the most on this boat is that they have two large fish wells in the back, presumably for throwing the big salmon in. And there's a pump, bilge type pump for pumping them out. And they always get clogged with debris or fish scales or whatever it is. And not only that, um, so I weigh at least 260, 270 pounds. And the lids that go on here, when they're, you know, when this thing is empty and but when it's full, it doesn't matter. The, um, I can even hear it cracking. And uh, this is the uh, lid for one of them right here. Now this lid, uh, to reinforce it, it's thick fiberglass, but they put a piece of wood in there and fiberglass around it. Now the other one that I put down on the other side, it has a crack right across there. That's, you know, it's old, but when you put weight on this thing, it's just too much when you're some big guy like I am. So anyway, what I've done is I've decided, and this was an inspiration from my father-in-law, is why don't I foam these? I don't need these. Um, I can uh, certainly bring a cooler along if I'm going salmon fishing. And just to deal with these, they fill with water. Any of the water that comes in the boat through rain or whatever reason seems to get in there no matter what you do. And uh, so what I'm doing, I took this little gasket material, which is an inexpensive gasket material, Frost King, um, 5 16 wide by a quarter inch. And um, you can see the profile of it. So peel off the back and stick that down to keep help keep the water out. But ultimately, what I'm just going to do is is I'm not going to use these ever for a fish well again. I'm going to seal them permanently and fill them full of foam so that I both get a displacement of any water. There will be any water in there because that foam seals and it's just like glue against the sides of this container. And then also, it'll provide me with 100% uh, support for standing on it or working on it. So, <clears throat> and I'll never have to bail them out again. And I don't have to try to fix the pump, which is, is impossible to get to anyway. So I put a plug in the um, discharge of that, uh, as you can see down there, a little black plug. And I'm going to fill these full of spray foam and put the lid on. Now, uh, I did a little experimentation and I sprayed a lot of this in a box, uh, cardboard boxes, to see the dynamics of how this foam is going to expand and how it's going to work. And, Ultimately, you just I just decided I was just gonna have to go for it. Well, I did it on the other side and um, As you can see there's a little cleaning up to do but um, I Completely filled this compartment with foam and they did it all within about a half an hour It took 10 10 cans of spray foam, but at Home Depot you get two cans for three dollars so I was talking about Seventeen dollars with the foam uh, Obviously I overfilled it um, and then I, I just this morning I was cutting away the excess foam and I'll be able to scrape more of that off and clean it up with a little bit of acetone. But um, ultimately, right now, I couldn't be happier. I am uh, 270 pounds standing on this foam and it doesn't move at all. It's hard as a rock. And if I get any water crossing there, it's just going to go down to the uh, outlets in the back of the boat and out and so I'm not going to be carrying any water either when I'm on the water or towing the boat. So anyway I'm going to do the same thing to this compartment over here and um, I cannot see the downside of this other than a little bit of cosmetic issue that I'm just going to have to clean up. And like I said I'm never really going to want to use these fish wells anyway so hopefully this will really improve the situation for um, uh, not ever having to bail these out or fix pumps or step on them and have them crack and and uh, Not having confidence in where I'm walking in the boat. So I think this will take care of it and uh, I've never seen anybody else approach this issue um, Other than just to say it's a it's a real hassle and so hopefully this is something that um, somebody else can take some inspiration from from um, and maybe do a little cleaner job of it than I did. But you know, the first time you do something is 
it's never the best. So this one's gonna go smoother. I think I'm gonna lay down a layer and then let that set. And so it may take a few days to do this one. Lay down layer by layer, let it set. And then the last layer, <coughs> not put too much and then get that lid on and set a lot of weight on it. So what I did do is I put the battery on it. I put some um, 25 pound weights that I had uh, the dumbbell weights and the gasoline to make sure that cover does not come up once you put that foam in there because that would have been a disaster and at least I at least I didn't have that issue so that, that should solve it and uh, I hope this helps somebody else and uh, let's go fishing <laughs>